In the previous video, we have explored how to set up basic routing and how our server handles get request. Today, we're going to explore the POST method that is used by the client to send data to the server. So far, we have added the routes for GET method, but we haven't added the route for POST method. So we're going to write app.post and the URL name, we're going to stick to person. But uh, if you look at this carefully, uh, even though it is the same name, but the method is different. Earlier we had get method and now we just created post method. So there are two different routes. In some tutorial, you might see, you know, some people might use like get person, but for the sake of best practice and also, you know, our code might look cleaner, we're going to stick to the same URL name for the same purpose, but with different method, right? And which is post and also followed by um, a callback function. In this example, we're going to just uh, we're going to just log the data that's sent by the client. The data is actually sent in the body section, which can be accessed from the rack request object, which has a lot of properties. One of them is the body property. So this is how it works. When the server receives request from the client, the server will check what is the method and what is the endpoint names if the method is get and the endpoint name is slash person then the server will just jump to this round all right and execute whatever code you have here if the server receive a post method with slash person endpoint names then the server will just jump to this route and execute what executes whatever callbacks you have here. All right, now we're gonna test it out. Um, I'm gonna show you how client sends data to the server. Uh, there are many software out there for API testing, uh, such as Postman and so on, but I personally prefer um, Insomnia. I'm gonna show you how to use Insomnia to send requests from the client perspective to the server. All right, let's go to this website, insomnia.rest, and you can get the software for free. You just need to find a download file, the setup file, and download it, then install it on a computer. And let's open up the Insomnia. I have actually installed it, and we're going to try to make a new request. There's a button down here, you just need to click it, new request. All right, we're just gonna name it whatever you like. I'm just gonna name it post. I'm sorry, no. Post request, post request. My post request. You can name it whatever you want. Create. All right, then the URL is localhost port 3000 slash person the method is post we're going to send a json data here all right uh, in the body sections you might want to choose json and we're going to try to send json data name okay and then age. All right, let's send it. What happened? Okay, right. let's go and check our server now. Our server actually received something which say undefined. The reason why we received this is because the server doesn't understand the data that the client sent to it. So in order for server and client 
to understand each other, they both have to use the same content type. All right. So from the client side, we know that the content type is JSON, but on the server side, we haven't specified anything to make the server understand that this is JSON. So in order to fix that, we need to add a middleware. Stay with me. I'm going to explain to you more about middleware on another occasion. All right. Middleware is just a piece of code. Let me let me explain to you later. We're going to add a middleware here. Express JSON. So this is how it works. All right. When the request come to the server or when the server received a request before the server go to these routes down below the server first of all will check if there is any middleware that the server needs to go through and the server say uh oh okay there is one middleware here which is express.json then the data or whatever request sent by the client needs to go through this middleware then the middleware codes will get executed in our situation you know the json middleware will process the json data that's sent by the client and after that the code will then jump to the routes specified or sent by the client all right we're gonna see whether we're gonna resend again we can don't forget to save your file and let's go back to the insomnia and try send again now go back to our server all right you see down below here that the server actually receive the JSON data we log it on our terminal okay so far so good so once the server received the post request from the client in some occasion we might want to send a confirmation from the server to the client that says okay we have received your data we can actually do it by saying return rest json and okay inside the json we're gonna send probably message this is your data and as you know we received the, the data in json format which is an object that has two properties name name and age can access the name by saying request object and the body property and name and for the age let's get into the request object body property and the age all right don't forget to save your file okay now let's go to the insomnia again we're gonna send one more time send now this is what we receive from the server message this is your data name John Doe age 20 okay let's see if we just send name what's gonna happen uh oh no we have to remove the comma all right let's reset again okay if you just send name then you just receive that particular data which is name so if you just send age let's see what happened then you're going to receive age all right uh, this is a very simple post handling method i'm going to see you in the next video